Ambulance. <laughs> I'm Michael Bay film. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal stars in this movie. With a guy who plays Black Manta. Goes and sees him at a bank. And he wants a loan. He needs a loan. Now, because he needs this loan from the bank, what have you, because he needs this loan, um, he's not able to do the things that he wants to do because he needs the loan. So, obviously, um, it becomes a problem. You know, he's trying to provide for his girl. He's ex-military, he can't really find a job anywhere. So he wants to find a loan and, uh, you know, try to get a job somewhere. And he goes and sees his brothers working at the bank. So his brother's got a plan to rob this bank <laughs> and wants him in on it ASAP. And oh, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. This is a problem. This is a problem. Now, this breaks out into a hostage situation because one cop doubles back and wants to come inside of the bank as they got everybody tied up. He's turned on everybody at the bank. They got the money. They would have gotten away Scott clean. But one cop wants to come in and demands and talks to the bank while they're doing a sweep. Uh, I just want to talk to the bank teller because I'm trying to get her phone number. You know? And he lets the cop in. I'll be like, well, you just have to wait in your car for at least 20, 30 minutes. Or, you know, come back in 20, 30 minutes. Where, you know, by law, we can't open this. He's a rookie cop. But he comes in there and wants to propose and do all this other silliness so that becomes part of the narrative as he finds out what's going on risks it gets taken hostage his partner sees him and the getaway car hits him and guys start going crazy as all these ex-military soldiers are now becoming dumb and start doing all this stuff when they all have millions and it was a clean getaway. And here we go. Everybody's chasing a ambulance. And they have all the police force, SWAT, and everything else. And they're like, well, we can't do it because we got a cop in the back. Where this nurse, this MMT rather, is trying to fight to keep this cop alive. It's some Michael Bay type stuff happening like they have to do an operation on this guy and she's got her hand down in his stomach trying to pull out a bullet and he wakes up in the middle of surgery sees like her digging in his his body while the car is moving by the way and the other guy just punches him back out punches him in the face and knocks him out this guy's lost so much blood and the cops have not shot the tires out of this ambulance and had a standoff right then and there, which I don't understand why they wouldn't have um, through the tire shreds on there, no matter what. You know, it's like, we can't let them get away. This has to end here before it causes more tragedy. They don't, and more casualties happen. Uh, crazy, unbelievable explosions and interference starts to happen with this ambulance and it's basically this is the movie they're in this ambulance chase with the police on their tail throughout Los Angeles and that's it and it's gonna be some explosions here and there it's pretty mild then Michael Bay goes Michael Bay and blows up everything so <laughs> 
once again, it was on. Now, me personally, the way I looked at it, it's a little different. I felt, Screen Fang fans, if you're new here, subscribe. I felt that if they had continued with this film anymore, because uh, it kept getting dumber and dumber as it proceeded, as they continue with this story anymore, it's like a fairy tale ending. You know, it's really bizarre. But no. This is a situation where you see the situation and you're like, oh my God, this can get no stupider. Like, what what dream do people have that they're just going to waltz away? <laughs> and this is over. You know, this is like last stand Armageddon. You're not getting out of the country. You're not getting it. It's like, this is it. So, yeah. Big problem. So, in the end, it was the tale of two brothers doing what they can, riding it out in the back of an ambulance, both military, both believed in loyalty, and Moral compasses are put to play here. So you see people's moral compass come up to the forefront. And then you see how people react to those moral compasses. Overall, I'll give it two stars out of four. It's watchable. But you won't remember the movie. And let me see. Yep, T minus. Is a Gonzalez. Oh my God, I would have shot. Is she? She should have been shot. Okay, let's just get to it. Is a Gonzalez should have been shot at least five hundred times in this movie. When she tried to run away the first time, pop. She did a whole bunch of stuff in this movie. Pop, pop, and pop again. She deserved to get popped throughout this entire film. I was sick of her guts. Trust me, I was sick of her. Yeah, it's... <laughs> It's an ambulance chase heist movie. It's bizarre. Only in the world of Michael Bay. <laughs> so, on that note, I'm out. God bless. Good night.